Uh, in this video I hope to be outlining the thought process in balancing chemical equations in the context of combustion, as in the burning of fuels. Now the general formula for a combustion reaction is uh, any fuel plus oxygen will go to carbon dioxide and water. In this example the fuel is going to be methane which is going to react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Now you can do this in any order but I always tend to work from left to right. In this case carbon is the first atom I'd like to have a look at and uh, quite simply I'm counting how many carbons there are on the left hand side of the equation in this case one and then counting how many carbons there are on the right hand side of the equation and in this case one because there's one on each side there isn't a problem and there's no balancing numbers needed with regards to carbon. The next atom along is hydrogen and on the left hand side we have four hydrogen atoms and on the right hand side we have only two hydrogen atoms and this is a problem because uh, we need to have all the hydrogen atoms accounted for on both sides of the equation. The way we solve this is by adding a two in front of the water molecule this means we have two lots of the water molecule, two water molecules which means we now have four hydrogen atoms on the right hand side of the equation which ties in with the four hydrogen atoms on the left hand side of the equation. So for now hydrogens are done and dusted and we can move on to the next atom. The next atom is oxygen and on the left hand side of the equation we have two oxygens. On the right hand side of the equation we have two oxygens from the carbon dioxide plus a single oxygen from two lots of water molecules which adds up to a total of four oxygen atoms on the right hand side of the equation. So that's two oxygen atoms on the left and a total of four oxygen atoms on the right. By adding a balancing number of two in front of the oxygen molecule we now have four oxygen atoms on the left and four oxygen atoms on the right. Now this chemical equation is balanced one molecule of methane will react with two molecules of oxygen to produce one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. In the second example uh, is the combustion of ethane. Ethane reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. And this procedure is going to be the same, but this is slightly more tricky. Working from left to right, the first atom I'm going to look at is carbon and there are two carbon atoms in the ethane molecule and on the right hand side of the equation there's only one carbon atom in carbon dioxide. So to balance this out we put a 2 in front of the carbon dioxide having two molecules of carbon dioxide. This gives us a total now of two carbon atoms on the left and two carbon atoms on the right. So now the carbon atoms are balanced. The next atom along is hydrogen and in ethane there are six hydrogen atoms and this is on the left. On the right hand side we have only two hydrogen atoms in a molecule of water. So that's six on the left and two on the right. So to bring balance to the hydrogen atoms we add a, a three in front of the water molecule. Having three water molecules mean we ha means that we have uh, six hydrogen atoms on the right, six hydrogen atoms on the left and now the hydrogen atoms are balanced. The next is uh, oxygen and there are two oxygen atoms on the left hand side of the equation and uh, on the right hand side is a bit complicated but there are two molecules of carbon dioxide each containing two oxygen atoms so the carbon dioxide is providing us with a total of four oxygen atoms. There are three water molecules each containing one oxygen atom for a total of three oxygen atoms from the water molecules. So on the right hand side of the equation, the carbon dioxide and the water added together, we've got a total of seven oxygen atoms. So that's two oxygen atoms on the left, a total of seven oxygen atoms on the right. Uh, a mathematician would want to put three and a half as the balancing number in front of oxygen uh, to bring seven oxygen atoms on the left, seven oxygen atoms on the right. Now a chemist is going to be bothered by this because you're not allowed to have half a molecule. You can only have a whole number of molecules in the same way that you can only have a whole number of people in a room and not half a person. So in order to get around this problem of this half, 
the solution is to double the number of every single molecule that is in this equation. So uh, one ethane molecule would be doubled to two, three and a half oxygen molecules will be doubled to seven, two carbon dioxide molecules will be doubled to four, and three water molecules will be doubled to six. And now the equation is balanced. It's always a good precaution to double check. Uh, we have four carbons on the left, four carbons on the right. We have 12 hydrogens on the left, 12 hydrogens on the right. And we have 14 oxygens on the left and a total of 14 oxygens on the right. And just to help with what these balancing numbers mean, it means that there are two molecules of ethane that react with seven molecules of oxygen to produce four molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. It would be a good idea to practice balancing some further combustion equations using different fuels, for example, propane, butane, methanol, ethanol, uh, etc.